Hello friends, welcome to the 49th session of Hybris tutorial. In this session, we are going to learn what are dynamic enums in Hybris. So guys, if I show you this core item.xml over here, we do have defined multiple type of enums. For example, this is a credit card enum, right? Credit card type enum and this is a order status enum. Right, so these are the two type of enums. If I just try to search this in uh, in our database, for that if I go to my back office, so you can see I'm going to the back office, right? And if I just search this enum credit card type, you can see I'm able to search this, right? Even I can just see all the values present in this as well. So you can see over here, I can see these these are the uh, attributes which it has inherited from its super type right what are all values present in this enum these are the all values present in this enum right so I hope guys this is clear to you how it is done right then we do have uh, another enum order status enum right so this is the enum right and but there is a difference if I show you this enum as well right uh, this enum has a values right this enum also has some values if i can just show you you can see that this enum also has some values right these are the values but these are two different type of enums one is the dynamic enum one is the dynamic enum uh, another is the non-dynamic enum So question is what do you what do you mean by dynamic and non-dynamic enums? So as you can see over here as well, it is saying uh, it is whether it is possible to add new values by runtime or not. If it is dynamic, it is possible to add new values by runtime. Also results in different type of enums, right? True results in the classic hybrid enums, false results in the Java enums. Default is false, right? Both kind of enums are API compatible and switching between enum type is possible by running a system update. It means we can create a dynamic and we can change it to non-dynamic and similar is the opposite case. We can uh, change a non-dynamic enum to a dynamic as well if we just do the changes and if we bring our server up again and if we perform the system update. Now what is the uh, I mean meaning of dynamic and non-dynamic enum? So guys if we try to add some value if we try to add some value into this non-dynamic enum if I just show you this enum in our uh, database so you will see that we do have this enum you can see we have this enum right and you can see the this is how it is looking we do have one code value right one is the code and then second is the code lowercase and all these things right so we do have but But if I try to insert any enum into the DB, right? Uh, so if I just go to the console, impex import, and if I try to add some values, right? If I try to add some values into the non dynamic enum, for example, this is the non dynamic enum credit card type. And if I write over there, like uh, code is equal to insert update credit card type then code unique is equal to true right if i write something like this and here if i just write test val1 test val1 right and if i try to run this right if i firstly validate the content you can see it is valid but if i try to import it it will get failed it gets failed it is saying cannot create credit uh, card type with values these due to the fact why it is uh, why it is saying it is not a dynamic enum right we cannot uh, do this but guys if we take a, a dynamic enum for example if i just take a dynamic enum for example this is a dynamic enum order status is a dynamic enum right so if i take this enum right and if i try to add some values in this enum order status and if I uh, you know validate content you can see it is working import content you will see that this will also work you can see import is successful now right and 
this this is also working over here so it means data has been imported so what we can do we can uh, check in this order status type whether there is any value test uh, has been created or not you can see this uh, value has been created in order status uh, enum so i hope guys it is clear to you what do you mean by uh, dynamic and non-dynamic enum if i say an enum is a dynamic enum it means we can insert new values into this enum at runtime as well if uh, enum is a non-dynamic enum we cannot add new values uh, into this enum uh, right at a runtime uh, interceptor will be called which will basically block the insertion of the new values right at the runtime so we need to take care of this so guys i hope this concept is clear to you what do you mean by dynamic enum and non-dynamic enum and as already in, uh, told we use these enums as well we use these enums right while using the uh, while declaring the attributes in any item type so for example here i am saying this is a credit card payment info item type or this is in the very rough language this is the table name right and here i am saying that there is an attribute which is or there is a column with the name type it is of type credit card type so this is the thing we need to take care of i hope guys this is clear to you so guys this is all about the dynamic and non-dynamic enums so i hope this concept is clear to you in case you still have any doubts you can ask your doubts in the comment section of this video or you can email me as well on amandeep in java hybris at gmail.com i will try to answer your queries so guys if you like this video do share this video with your friends thank you for watching bye